Hey guys, it's Dominique and I'm back today with a another budget friendly hairstyle. I did struggle with this style, believe it or not. My edges been acting crazy all week long. They will not lay. Also, the braids, I'm not a braider. I'm just gonna put that out there. I am not a braider. My braiding skills are subpar at best but i did the best that i could and i'm actually pleased with how my hair came out and yeah y'all it's a quick you know <laughs> it's a quick little style if you want to pop out <clears throat> yeah so i used one pack of braiding hair actually i used a quarter of a pack of regular um jumbo braid braiding hair can't find the pack right now i'll probably throw it away just cut just cut the long piece in half and pull a little bit out for my ponytail so yeah, I didn't even use a whole pack of hair, so you already know it's gonna be a follow-up style with the rest of the hair. Um, Yeah, so this took about maybe an hour, hour and a half, because I kept redoing the braids. But aside from that, y'all, we're good. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling her. Let's name her Tanisha. Hey, Nish, I'm feeling you, girl. Yes, Nish and Dom. So yeah, y'all. Let me know if you like this hairstyle, if you want to see more quick, cute hairstyles like this. Just let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So I'm starting off with freshly washed, blow-dried hair. I'm just going to start parting, and I'm going to add some Dr. Miracle edge control to my parts for the braids, just to lay down all of the stray hairs. Okay guys, I do not have a blueprint for these braids or for the parts that I use for the braids. I'm kind of just going with it and um, I try to make the braids uh, symmetrical on each side to kind of match. Uh, this is the result. I did have to take a few down every now and then when they were kind of getting straggly, but I think they came out pretty well. So as y'all know, I struggle with these gray hairs. I just can't. They were tiptoeing, crip walking all over my braids. So I had to go get some tweezers and start yanking the little ones out. I'm just yanking the ones that are really short. From there, I'm just going to take some mascara. I don't care what y'all say. This is the method that works. And I just kind of dab it onto the gray hairs that are already twisted and braided in. Just to kind of blend it a little bit. Because I can't be walking around looking like salt and pepper. So I applied some of the edge control to the back of my hair and to the sides of my hair. I just take a hairbrush and kind of brush all my hair up to sleek it down for the ponytail. So I wanted this ponytail to be super sleek, so I wrapped the elastics around my hair three times instead of the normal two. So my natural ponytail is really thick. What I'm going to do is just add some moisturizer to my ponytail and then comb it out. From there, I'm just going to take some elastics and separate three parts and twist the elastics around the parts to stretch my hair out so that it'll blend with the braiding hair. I'm starting off with a standard size pack of braiding hair. You can't see me do this in the video, but I did cut that long piece in half. So now I'm working with just a half of pack of hair. From there, I took a little bit off because I don't want my ponytail to be too thick. So I'm taking the braiding hair and I'm wrapping the rubber band right around the center and it's even on both sides. Okay guys, this is my first time doing this. So I took the rubber band and I wrapped it around my hair um, just like normal. I kind of got it a little messy. If you're doing this at home, it's really not that hard. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take the piece of my natural hair and I'm gonna wrap it around the base of the ponytail. My hair is still really thick even after stretching it, so I'm trying to get rid of that excess natural hair so that the braid will blend. I'm also going to twist the, the hair down into three sections instead of just grabbing three sections because I find that twisting my natural hair with the braiding hair kind of helps me to grip the hair a little bit more and it blends my hair in with the braiding hair a little bit better. So I'm just going to start braiding down like normal. So 
So at the end of the ponytail, I'm just going to tie it off with a rubber band. From there, I'm just fluffing out the braid a little bit from the bottom all the way to the top, just so that the braid won't be so tight. So at this point, I'm just adding a little um, gold rings to my hair and string just to dress up my hair a little bit. Also, side note, I did take some scissors in and kind of clip off the little straggly pieces on my ponytail. So I'm adding a few more hair rings to my hair just to give it a little bit more pizzazz in the front. So this is an extra step. I'm adding foam to my braids because they're a little frizzy because I'm a poor braider. <laughs> this is just going to lay down the extra frizzy hairs. I'm going to put a scarf on and let that set up for a little bit and I'll be back. So I'm going to stretch out my braid just a little bit more and I'm all done. <music> 